Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today tracking down all the runes you can find while on the mission, Death to the Empress. Now, the first rune that you're going to find is down in the uh, Dunwall Tower City District area. So, this is kind of the, if you think about the very first mission in the game, the whole map is reversed because you're coming at it from the docks. So, we are down here on the streets of Dunwall, near the docks where we came out of the water after taking the skiff into this area. If you head up in the docks, kind of towards your mission objective, over here on the right, you're going to see this big anchor hanging from the top of this little outcropping. If you dip in these doors here, this is where you're going to find the black market. And it's actually in the black market that you're going to find rune number one. Now, as always, if you wish to rob the black market, you can absolutely do that. If you don't know how to rob the black market out here, check the video description. I got a link down there that walks you through the process. But that's it for this one. We're on to the next one in just a moment. All right, runes two and three. Runes 2 and 3 are going to be found just past where we found rune number 1 here at the Black Market. So you're still down on the Dunwall City streets. Head outside the Black Market, past the Keep Outside, and through these doors right here. When you get through these doors, you are going to start seeing a bunch of wolfhounds. So take note of them. There are uh, quite a few of them roaming around down here. But... Once you get to this point of the track where you see it's kind of broken here, I want you to direct your attention up to this building here. Because right up here, there is a witch that hangs out up there. You're going to need to take her out in some fashion. And once you're able to do that, then proceed. Otherwise, she's going to take you out. Uh, from here, though, once she's done and been dealt with, you're going to go ahead and get up on top of this. And what you're trying to do is to otherwise blink or far reach your way up onto this balcony here where you see the banner hanging from. Now, if you're doing a no powers playthrough, I do want to give you an option for getting up there. If you get on top of this gravestone looking thing, it's not a gravestone, but that's what we're calling it. You're going to jump up on top of the rail. The rail is not electrified at this point because it's broken, right? Now, once you get up on top of the rail, I want you to do a running jump at this apartment. You're going to get over in the dilapidated apartment building, and then you're going to make your way up to the next level. When you get up here, you're going to see this beam that runs across towards this little HVAC unit that's on the side of the building. What you're going to need to do is get up on top of the bookcase, and then get out here on the rail, and then you can make your way across ever so carefully, jump over, and then get up on top of the HVAC unit and then onto the balcony. Now, when you do get out here on the balcony and dip in here, you're going to see there is one guy hanging out in this room. And then there's another guy hanging out in this room. This guy almost always has his back to me when I enter this room. So he's really easy to take out. The other guy, not so much. You can usually just quick sleep dart him and you're good to go. Um, once they're all taken care of, there's a barometer on the wall here. I want you to turn it. And it's going to open the secret panel, and behind it, you're going to find an outsider shrine with runes 2 and 3 on there. So go ahead and pick those up. We'll be back with rune number 4 in just a moment. All right, rune number 4. Rune number 4 is going to be found just before you enter the Dunwall Tower. So right now, we're just out in front of it. We're just past the uh, big campfire, bonfire, whatever you want to call it. And if you look over here to your left, you're going to see a break in this fenced wall here. What I want you to do is pop up over here. There is going to be a witch down here you're going to have to contend with. But once you get past her, head in this room, you'll find two more witches doing God knows what with algae. But once you've cleaned them up, I want you to head up on this walkway. Drop down between this blue pipe and this gray pipe. Crouch and then make your way all the way to the back here on top of this folded up mattress You're gonna find rune number four. So that's it for this one We're on to the fifth and final one in just a moment All right, our fifth and final rune is gonna be actually found inside Dunwall Tower All right, once you get inside you're gonna be here in the main foyer right over here on the right is the elevator If you go interact with the elevator read the note that's on it You're going to get an objective that says to the security room, to the Batmobile, no. Uh, but I'm assuming that you may not have picked this rune up when you went down to the security room, so you might need to know how to get back there. If you don't remember, I am going to show you. 
From here, you're just going to go into the main area here where the stairs are. Head up these stairs and take a right. Hang a left and get to this back hallway. When you get to the central part of the back hallway, you're going to see these uh, runes scribed on the floor, the Delilah statue. And I want you to hop over top or hop on pop of these bookcases. Now you can agility jump up here, far reach, blank, whatever you want to do. Once you get to this next hallway, I want you to go through these two doors, past the harp and the Delilah statue, and then through another set of doors. In here, you're going to find a clockwork soldier patrolling. Watch out for him. But head all the way back here. Don't get hit by the swinging trap of corpse death. That's a new trap they put in the game just for the last level. If she hits you, you die instantly. I don't know why. It just happens. Trust me. Don't want to get, don't want to get hit by it. All right. Head through this door here, and you're going to find another clockwork soldier. Once you deal with him, I want to point out to you that down this hallway, there are two witches hanging out down here. If you deal with them now, that's fine. You can also deal with them later because once you turn on the power in the security room, they're going to come down to see what the fuck just happened and you're going to have to deal with them anyways. So just keep an eye out for them, but head all the way down into the security room. Once you get down here, I want you to take a left. We're going to go over to these pipes, jump up on them, and up here you're going to find rune number five. So that's it for tracking all of these down. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. But if you got anything out of the video, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.